to one price for growth. Has that born out yet? What is the best investment in that scenario? We, we think it has, but we think it's fully reflected in U.S. valuations for the most part. So you can look at the valuations in the U.S. equity market, which is near all-time highs or at all-time highs today. Um, and we think that that's basically priced in. What comes next, I think, is very important for investors. And we're starting to see that transition to growth expectations improving in Europe. And we think the next phase really is emerging markets. So we think in, in a bond portfolio with uh, you know, less constraints. We think it's important to look at emerging market debt, to look specifically at nations that are benefiting from the improved growth in the U.S. Such as? Uh, specifically looking at uh, countries like Mexico, which is benefiting directly from growth in the U.S., looking at certain countries with stronger current account balances in Eastern Europe that are benefiting from uh, improved growth in, in Europe itself, including the European periphery. Um, we're trying to avoid countries that are specifically commodity dependent. So specifically some Latin American countries uh, like Peru or Brazil, we want to be a little bit more cautious on. Um, but you know, at a certain point, uh, local yields start to look pretty compelling. So if you look at Brazil, just as a, as a case in point, a very resource dependent economy, but with local yields in the 11% range, at some point it starts to make sense for what is still an investment grade, uh, an investment grade issuer.